G'day guys, it's Scott here from Bridge the Gap. Welcome to another product review. Um, today we're going to be looking at pre-injection solutions and creams. Now there is a ton of these on the market and I'm sure a few people have used a couple and have something that they prefer. These are a great little accessory for people who have needle phobias or your younger folk that we generally see. Um, I think the best place for them personally from clinical experience is actually be used in plantar infiltrations. The reason for that, plantar surface of the skin, lots and lots of nerve endings, so you're getting that topical application and that can really take effect there. When we do a digital block, you inject in the top and then you're traveling down deep into those plantar sort of nerve endings and I don't think you're gonna get the effect down there. So I personally think multi-punches and plantar infiltrations, this stuff is really, really good but digital blocks, I think there's no substitution for really good technique and being prepared in the clinic. So that's my first point. But first product, I've got Jaber's Ethanol Chloride, which is a superficial spray. Comes in a little convenient bottle like this, um, has all the nozzle attached to it, and that's obviously reusable, and even comes with a little locking mechanism so you don't get any unexpected blow-offs <laughs> from the spray. So. What we get here is obviously shake really, really well, and then it sprays out with a little tiny stream like that. Now, it looks pretty messy. I've got a bluey on the floor capturing that, but the liquid actually dries instantaneously, so there's really no mess to this. Now, my finger's gone freezing cold from that. You can even see there was a bit of whiteness on there, um, and that's obviously the effect that it takes. It does that cold effect, and that works quite well for desensitizing superficial nerves. Um, something like this is about 50 bucks. Okay, there's a fair bit in there, but 50 bucks, okay? Compare that to cold sports spray. Now, I've even seen some sports trainers freeze towels and use them as ice packs for this type of stuff. So, definitely has a huge effect, 15 bucks. Jumper out. Freezes the site. Dries instantaneously just about, the same as the Jabez, and I've got a freezing cold spot there, and I reckon if I went there, that would have quite a good effect there. So, in regards to the sort of the freezing sprays and the freezing products, I think you've got to look really closely at the cost, and I think, personally, the sports spray does a pretty similar effect to something like this, um, when you consider looking at the active ingredients and whatnot. So, that's my opinion on those. Now you're gonna say, oh, what about some of the gels and stuff? Well, there, I'll quickly touch on one, which is the Emla cream, which is probably the most common one we see out there. Emla cream's quite expensive again. It's $40 for a small tube. And I think the mistake a lot of people find is they can purchase it from Chemist Warehouse and your patient's are like, oh yeah, I started putting it on this morning before I came in. I found the best effect with that is actually to put it on for a couple of days leading in and that superficial nerve start to desensitize really nicely and you get the best effect there. If you put it on just the morning before, I don't think it has time to actually cause an effect that will get you the best result. So in regards to those types of gels and whatnot, I think you've really got to do a loading mechanism with it or a phase a couple of days out to get the best effect um, for obviously the numbness or anesthetization of that site pre-injection. Um, other than that, there's a whole heap of products, as I said, I looked on Google, and there's just heaps of stuff that you could try. A lot of stuff coming out of the tattooing industry. Um, personally, I think, like I said at the start of the video, nothing can substitute for good technique and being prepared and actually making the expectation and managing the expectation with your clients. So please feel free to comment, please subscribe to our page, and I look forward to seeing you all at our next product review. Thanks, guys.